today. As you can see behind behind me, right there, we're going to be doing a combination lock. Uh, and this is the basic setup. You can expand it infinitely, really. Right back here, it's a bunch of redstone. It takes up a lot of room. But, uh, you know, I'm sure someone will find a way to make it way more compact. Anyways, we start with this. Uh, I forgot to grab a sign. Hold on. Alright, so let's make the sign. Ones that need to be down are gonna be one. Oops. One and three. So this will be the combination to open it. Alright, actually, I think I need to move this over a bit. Ah. Uh, Nah, it's still not, it's not really hard. Let's just do one of these. Alright. Now, so, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna move this underground. Let me clear that out. Alright. And, uh, we're gonna wanna set up an AND gate right here. I'm gonna give myself some room to uh, move around. Right. End gates are really simple. It's just. The, uh, well. Alright, it's just. Yep, that works. <laughs> Alright, it's just uh, one of these. Now I remember. Whoops. Rookie mistake there. Alright, so that's gonna power that off. Or turn that off, rather. And then we're gonna go like this. And we're actually going to uh, do one of these. Let me hook it up to uh, that. Alright, so. That AND gate is now working, and if you don't know how an AND gate works, basically this torch is going to be powering this right here, which will turn off both of these essentially have to be off like that. So we'll make it 1 and 3 have to be up. So it'll be like that, and then this now outputs a power. Or outputs power. So we are just about done and uh, the great part is this can actually be all hidden underground All right now we're gonna wanna make it do one of these just need to make sure um, it didn't go and power uh, what I don't want being powered and bam to open it And that's how you know if one of these are up. Hold up. Rookie mistake there. There we go. Rookie mistake. So if one of these, or if neither of the, if it's not both of these up, there we go. It'll close. All right. See now. The part that I always struggled with when making these was how do I get this part to turn off? See, now that's a good question. What you need to do is let me get some sandstone half slabs. Sandstone slab. And, uh, hold on, I don't think. So I thought I'd have it set up correctly. Alright. Alright, now, this can just loop around to the door. It won't be too hard. Because all I have to do is that. Or no. This has to drop down. Sorry about that. Alright, that just has to drop down, and now. 
we have the proper combination. If one of these is wrong, then it closes. And uh, if this is flipped up, again, with the forgetting to, uh, no, this didn't transfer properly. Strange. Turn that off. Okay. And then we'll just have to invert this signal. So here we have our inverter, and uh, so, so we're gonna turn on a little bit that low. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. I don't know why that was so difficult. All right, now that's flipped up. There we go. So basically, all you gotta do is the ones you want to go in there uh, so like over here I have four of them but or four of them is the right combo but if you wanted to have five of them you could really all you need is a uh, to do one of these for a uh, separate one you just do that and then make a simple inverter and there you go so yeah, anyways, that's how you uh, make the door, Oops. and uh, yeah, luckily this time I uh, was able to condense it into three by, no, two blocks out of uh, where it would have gone normally. I don't know why I had it like this, honestly. Alright. Yeah, three blocks from where it would have uh, gone normally. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, I hope that you enjoyed and that you can, or that you learned something from this. Especially because, uh, just on the fly, I figured out how to, uh, condense this all in underground. Because, uh, kind of messed it up. So two blocks necessary to uh, get it out. But yeah, I set it up wrong. So anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, see you next time.